Let's take a look at this problem, taken from the International Mathematical Olympiad 1992. It says, find all integers a, b, c with 1 less than a less than b less than c, such that a minus 1 times b minus 1 times c minus 1 divides a, b, c minus 1. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. So this is another divisibility problem. Um, the expression may seem quite complicated, but in fact, if you try to expand it a bit, say on this one, you will see it's actually this. A, B, C minus A, B minus B, C minus C, A plus A plus B plus C minus 1. And that's actually um, kind of just slightly um, smaller than A, B, C minus 1. So um, the next thing to notice is that uh, because this expression has to divide a, b, c minus 1. So the quotient must be an integer, which means a, b, c minus 1 has to be equal to some integer times the whole bunch of expression. Now, this is quite hard to achieve because, um, as said at the beginning, uh, the difference, which is uh, this part, is actually not as large as we expect. So we can imagine that there is actually a way to establish a bound so that we can um, minimize the number of possibilities of the quotient. So in fact, notice that a, b, c minus 1 over this product could be rewritten as, actually smaller than, not rewritten, a, B, C over this product simply by removing the minus 1. Now, this inequality is strict and um, the new expression could be written as the product of the following. A over A minus 1, B over B minus 1, C over C minus 1. We kind of separated the variables and this makes things um, much easier to control. Now, next part to notice is that because a, b, c are all integers, then um, we can even establish a further bound on each of the three, um, three fractions. So, because we've said we have this, so that means a is um, at least 2, and b is at least 3, c is at least 4. Now, observe that this expression is actually equal to 1 plus 1 over a minus 1. And when a is at least 2, this is at most 1 plus 1 over 2 minus 1, and that's 2. Similarly, b over b minus 1 is less than or equal to 3 over 2. And c over c minus 1 is less than or equal to 4 over 3. So... This product is actually less than or equal to, is at most 2 times 3 over 2 times 4 over 3, and that's just 2. Oh, it's a, sorry, it's a mistake. It's, it should be 4 instead. So because this expression is strictly less than 4, and we know that it cannot be equal because there is a, um, indeed a substantial difference um, highlighted in red uh, between two expressions. So that means this thing can only be 2 or 3. So now we have a reduced number of possibilities from um, like all natural numbers to just two of them, 2 or 3. And it should be very easy to handle. The next thing is to investigate whether there are any uh, similar bounds on um, one single variable, say a, the smallest one. So notice that um, if a is larger than 3, then that means, or I should rephrase that as a is at least 4, then using a similar technique, using a similar argument uh, like before, we can say that
is less than or equal to 4 over 3 times 5 over 4 times 6 over 3, which is 2. And since we have the strict inequality again, because it's just um, the minus 1 removed, then we know that this cannot happen. Can never hold. This can never hold. Because then the fraction above um, cannot be, uh, is even smaller than 2, strictly smaller than 2. So that means it's, it can only be 1, and that's a contradiction. So um, the statement that A is at least 4 can never hold, which means A can only be 2 or 3. Now again, we only have two cases left, which is when A is 2 and, and when A is 3. And for each of the cases, uh, it's actually just a Darfantin equation on two variables, so it's very easy to handle. Now when A is 2, we have 2BC minus 1 over... 2 minus 1 is just 1, so the denominator is the product of b minus 1 and c minus 1 is equals to 2 or 3. Now, we simplify each of them. And for the one on the left, it will become 2b plus 2c equals 3, which is clearly a contradiction because the left side is even while the right side is odd. Now, for the equation on the right, it will become bc minus 3b minus 3c plus 4 equals 0. Well, this can be factorized by adding 5 on both sides, so it becomes plus 9 which equals to 5, and now we can factorize left-hand side, and that's b minus 3 times c minus 3 equals 5. We can solve this because b and c are, in are positive integers. So because b is more than c, so b minus 3 can only be 1, c minus 3 can only be 5, because 5 is a prime number, these are the only options, so b equals 4 and c equals 8. So that means we have found the first um, solution triple is 248. We'll check later. And the second case is that when A is equal to 3, then 3BC minus 1 over uh, A minus 1 is 2 this time, 2 times B minus 1 times C minus 1 equals 2 or 3. And we try to simplify. For the equation on the left, it will become bc minus 4b minus 4c plus 5 equals 0. And I can use a similar trick by adding 11 on both sides so that it will become b minus 4 times c minus 4 equals 11. And using a similar argument, Because 11 is a prime again, so b is 5, c is 15. So we have another solution, triple, which is 3, 5, and 15. Now for the equation on the right, we can quickly see that it's a contradiction because the left side is congruent to minus 1 mod 3, while the right-hand side is divisible by 3. In fact, it's a multiple of 6, so no solution. So therefore, all in all, um, A, B, C should, should, can only be 2, 4, 8 or 3, 5, 15. Now it remains to check. When it's 2, 4, 8, this will become 40, uh, it's actually 63. While this product is that 1 times 3 times 7 is uh, 21. So it's a tick. And when A, B, C is 3, 5, or 15, and the dividend is 2, 2, 4, and the divisor is now 2 times 4 times 
14, which is 112. So we're going to take. So we know that these two triples are both valid solutions. So yay, we are done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to suggest any alternatives in the comments. If you like my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now. Thank you for your support. See you next time.